uh, for Anita and Ann and uh, Ronnie and many others that are patiently holding. In fact, let me just go to some phone calls now and then out of the next segment because I won't have time in this segment to play uh, these clips of uh, Chuck Norris coming out against world government. And we've got Senator Inhofe coming out and saying world government. And we've got uh, all these major British lords coming out and admitting world government's being set up. And the national media is attacking them and Ron Paul and myself. Folks, inside Hollywood, Hollywood Reporter, uh, all these major publications this week have come out and attacked little old Alex Jones, connecting me to the movie 2012 saying the Woody Harrelson character is basically an Alex Jones, ascribing and attributing all these things he says in the film that I don't believe to me. That way, when 2012 comes and nothing bad happens, people are going to say Alex Jones said 2012 was going to destroy everything. I've never said that. I'm making a film exposing 2012 as a hoax that will be out by late 2010. And... uh they're so sophisticated in the mainstream media. They'll talk about space aliens, all this other stuff, and then attribute it to myself, Ron Paul. That's what Sean Hannity does. And I'm not here attacking Sean Hannity and Glenn Beck. I'm tired of them attacking me. I'm tired of them attacking Ron Paul. I'm tired of them saying we're making stuff up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you put in the search engine global government or global governance, you get hundreds of new articles on the Google News section, there's hundreds every day. They're openly announcing an unelected world government run by a bunch of socialist bankers who want to steal our money through socialism and set up a world dictatorship. I mean, there have been editorials written like, and now for world government, by the Financial Times of London, that was one of the headlines, saying it needs to be tyrannical. It needs to be authoritarian. So I, as a free human being and as an American, I am allowed to get up on the radio and read out of the Financial Times of London or the New York Times and say, look, they're calling for global government. They say they want to tax everything I do. They say they want to issue us all ID cards that track everything we buy, sell, and do. All I'm doing is reporting the truth. And I know I keep repeating that today. It just, it completely blows me away. Do I have time to go to call for a break? Yeah, let's take one call before I go to break here real fast. Let's go to Anita in Texas. Anita, go ahead. Hi, Alex. Hi. Can, can you hear me? My phone's kind of messing up. Yes, I, I can. Think. I can um, hear you. Okay, good. Thank you so much for, I mean, I don't know how you have done this all these years with people doing everything. It's so hard to wake people up. But um, I have a question. My, my daughter's going to have a baby, and she's 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 listened to me about not getting the flu shots or anything during pregnancy, but she's worried about, they said today she doesn't have to get the shots for the baby, like the hepatitis shot and everything, but something about a vitamin K shot. Is that okay? I had a medical doctor, Sherry Tenpenny, who was here debating the state health department last week in Austin. Stay there. We're going to come right back to you. Out of all the stacks of news I have here in front of me, here's one from the Associated Press. Dutch drivers to pay tax on the road time, not on car. The Dutch government plans to bring the polluter pays principle into the home garage. Drivers will soon pay a few cents for every kilometer or mile on the road in a plan aimed at breaking chronic traffic jams and cutting carbon emissions, the cabinet decided Friday. Now, we have Oregon, California, Washington State, and Texas looking at adding this on top of your gas tax. This is only one of hundreds of taxes you'll pay under the U.N. cap-and-trade tax that they're trying to fully pass under the Copenhagen-Denmark Treaty. That is coming up. But uh, going back to Anita in Texas. Anita, I, I'm not going to give you medical advice. I'm not a doctor. But we did have Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, medical doctor, on uh, the show Thursday in studio and I said, hey, I give my children the vitamin K when they were born at the hospital. I allowed that, none of the vaccines. And she said, no, that's even bad for babies uh, because of some of the circumcisions they do. Uh, sometimes babies haven't developed blood platelets and they can bleed. Uh, but she said, that's why they give the vitamin K. But they said at seven days, the babies start producing 
the chemicals they need in their bloodstream to thicken their blood. And she said there's a lot of health complications associated with it. But nothing compared to the hepatitis shot and others they try to give newborn babies. So that's what the medical doctor uh, said, Anita. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. I missed Thursday. I missed all last week. But um, she was also concerned about he's, she's having a boy. Is the circumcision, you know, what they get, she, what the um, shots they give for that, or she has to have an epidural or a C-section? You know, she's concerned about all that. So well, doctors, do. doctors are in a hurry, and they like C-sections because they don't have to wait 15 hours while there's a delivery. Now over half of American women have C-sections. Pretty soon they're going to say it's a conspiracy theory that women ever had children vaginally the normal way. Pretty soon they're going to say it's a conspiracy theory that mammary glands in mammals, breasts, are meant to give milk to babies. It's not a conspiracy. Women once had babies the regular way. They once breastfed their children. I know it sounds radical, sounds wild, but I appreciate your call, Anita. Let's talk to Anna in New York. Anna, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Um, I've been listening to you for about a year and a half now, maybe two years, and I've also been listening to Glenn Beck for about as long. For about as long, and I heard you say something, and I'm like, I, I just don't, I don't get it because you're saying that Glenn Beck, uh, cited, he mocked Lord Monson when he uh, was talking about the uh, the the Copenhagen uh, uh, coming up and the uh, and the treaty, and and that he was also he also supported TARP. I think it was TARP, um, but I've never heard Glenn Beck support the um, the. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I've never I've never heard him su uh, support either of those. Ma'am, do you have a I computer? Saw... Do you have a computer? I do. Yeah. Okay. I want you to write this down. There's hundreds of these clips, but the shortest and best one I've seen is about five minutes long, mm -hmm. and it's titled "Glenn Beck is a neocon, not a libertarian." And you will see him over and over again call Ron Paul a kook and a nut. You will see him uh, say that we needed the banker bailout. But after it passed, he then came out and said it was bad and he was against it. Whenever they're having a key vote, he shows his true colors. That's what I'm saying. You keep your friends close, your enemies closer. The establishment has a lot of these, quote, anti-establishment people on the right now that the Republicans are out of power, they will act like they're against the New World Order, but then they flip-flop. And I'm going to play a clip of Hannity calling Ron Paul a nut here in just a moment. So what I'm telling you is at key points, they snipe. I know he's had Lord Moncton on. I know he's admitted a lot of this. I understand that. But uh, what I'm telling you is, look, if you've been listening for a year and a half, you know that about nine months ago, I predicted that Beck would come out and debunk FEMA camps, and I even said how he would debunk them, okay? And he would go show a few camps that weren't camps and then say there were no camps, even when it's in the Houston Chronicle and New York Times and Wall Street Journal, and they've introduced legislation to build more camps. So uh, that's what I'm saying is that that's what makes them so dangerous is that they're getting everybody's – look, Ron Paul started the Tea Parties. 9-11 Truth started the Tea Parties. They have taken them over now to make it a Republicanoid, you know, rhino-type organization. But, but look, I don't want to get off into bashing these people here, okay? I mean, at least they're admitting some of this stuff. My point is, is that, is that I, I've been deeply studying this for years, and I under, look, Benedict Arnold, do you know who Benedict Arnold was? Mm -hmm. Benedict Arnold was an American... Mm -hmm. He was American general, one of our greatest generals, and it turned out he'd been a British agent the whole time. And, and, and I know one of these people when I see it, ma'am. This is all I do is study this. Okay, Lou Dobbs didn't go as far as Glenn Beck does, but what he did do was never stab patriots in the back. That's why his house got shot up. That's why Mecha and La Raza came after him, and that's why CNN made him quit. That's now been reported, why he, why, why he was forced out. Lou Dobbs has been on this show, okay? I have seen Glenn Beck say, we need to use the army against Ron Paul's supporters. He said, Ron Paul's money bombs mean that we want to blow things up. That's not true. He has, ma'am, you need to do more studying, okay? I look for that video that you just talked about. And one last thing, um, I work near uh, Columbus Circle in Manhattan. And I got to tell you, I have noticed an increased presence, military presence, police presence there, 
over the past few months, and it's, it's and I find it, I, I find it scary. And um, and the other day I was walking out of my office building, and I noticed, for the, I noticed for the first time a camera a, a, on a pole um, for the on the sidewalk, and then another one a couple of blocks over. And I'm noticing these things popping up, uh, popping up. Ma'am, uh, absolutely, my and I appreciate your call. Look. Twelve years ago, I remember reading government documents on air how they planned to put cameras in nationwide, claiming it would be for traffic, but that was really for surveillance. Now they admit it's surveilling us. Uh, face scanning software is hooked into them. License plate reading software. The Homeland Security documents that we leaked, that we received, that were leaked to us, confirmed to be real, say that Homeland Security is really for gun owners, conservatives, and liberty lovers.